Okay, it's time for your tour of the B&B. On past trips to Scotland, I have not only stayed in private self-catering B&Bs, but also saved money by staying in shared hostels. This trip was different than the norm, however. Keeping up with the new tradition, here is your POV tour of the place I'll be staying for the next few nights. For dinner, I found an Indian restaurant called Mr. Singh's right around the corner. My meal was incredible. After dinner, I decided to stay in for the night and get some rest. This is because I knew I'd be out late for the next three nights. Tonight, I had an early dinner. Afterward, I walked over to the Hydro for the first night of Country to Country, an American country music festival held in Europe since 2013, minus the cancellations due to COVID-19. It originally came to Glasgow's SEC Armadillo in 2016, but gained so much popularity that by 2018, it has been held next door at the larger SEC Hydro. This first night was a blast. The headliner was Zach Brown Band, and the others on the main stage were Old Crow Medicine Show, Mitchell Tenpenny, and Lindsay L. Here are some of the highlights from the night. Call it even, call it truth If you quit telling lies about me I won't tell the truth about you Okay, I'm back at the Hydro. This is night number two of Country to Country. This second night of Country to Country was headlined by Thomas Rhett. The other acts on the main stage were Jordan Davis, Lainey Wilson, Tyler Braden, Kaylee Hammock, and Alana Springsteen. Watch it dance in the grass and the yard. 
there's a truth about it. Just before Thomas Rhett's performance, I met up with my dear friend Gail. We met at this event a few years back because we happened to get seats right next to one another. We have kept in touch over the years because of our shared love of country music. It's always wonderful to find her and give her a hug. Hey everyone, I am just on my way to night number three of Country to Country and I'm really looking forward to tonight. Tonight is supposed to be Morgan Evans and Midland and uh, Lady A. So I saw the Lady A here a few years ago, but now I'm uh, excited to see them again. So it's only about a 15 minute walk from my Airbnb. So should be there shortly. This third night was probably my favorite of the three nights. This was an amazing experience. I have already purchased my tickets for next year, even though they haven't announced who next year's artist will be. I can hardly wait, and next year Gail will be right there with me as we bought seats next to each other once again. This morning I woke up in the best mood, even though it looked like it was going to be a rainy day. This would be my last full day in Glasgow on the trip, so I was determined to get out of the flat. Glasgow Cathedral is a parish church of the Church of Scotland. It is the oldest cathedral in mainland Scotland and the oldest building in Glasgow. The cathedral was the seat of the Archbishop of Glasgow and the Mother Church of the Archdiocese of Glasgow and the Province of Glasgow until the Scottish Reformation in the 16th century. Glasgow Cathedral and St. Magnus Cathedral in Orkney are the only medieval cathedrals in Scotland to have survived the Reformation virtually intact. 